You know what's crazy is that you also go to the moon <laughs> in Super Paper Mario. Or close to it, pretty much. Uh, well, that was a rather bumpy trip. What, what? Who would have guessed I'd get to do such a thing? Well, old boy, we're really on the moon by crappery. So what say you? Shall we find the last boondoggle and save Peach? Hmm? Mario in space. They should make a game about that. <laughs> They'd love space in Mario games, if you really think about it. I mean, maybe a stopwatch would be nice. Do we really need a vault shroom? <laughs> Just drop it. Can you believe this game copied Super Mario Land from 1992? I've never played Mario Land. I thought about playing that if I ever got back to my getting schooled series that I never continued. Oh, I freaking hate these enemies, dude. I don't want to fight these. Oh, God. <laughs> yup. This is happening. Mario Land 2 is goaded. I've heard people love it. Oh, I don't want to fight these guys. Hang on. Earth Tremor might kill them, maybe? I don't remember. They're probably stronger. I've never played the original Wario Land. I played Wario Land 4, though. That's considered to be the best one, isn't it? I loved Wario Land 4. That game is so good. It's one of the few, going back to the GBA talk, that's one of the few games I had on my GBA that I played all the time. Okay, good. They're dropping two experience. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's worth an Earth Tremor every time. Please don't. Maybe we should get on Sega. Why do they have to put these enemies here? Isn't Mario Land 2 like an hour long? <laughs> Maybe I should just get it, like stream it. <laughs> rocks and stuff, yeah, I guess. There are rocks here. Trying to find a copy of Warrior Land 4 because you can finally capture Game Boy footage. Oh, that's sweet, dude. I don't know where my copy went. It should be somewhere. It's gotta be around. It's probably at my parents' house somewhere. I don't know if I ever beat Warrior Land 4. I feel like I had to have beat it. I was pretty young, though. Oh, the, what were these guys? <laughs> Fidget spinners. Uh, we'll check the XP gain on these. We haven't fought these guys since chapter two. You spend 300 bucks on GameCube GBA player. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that'll, that'll solve your capture issues, for sure. I think my grandma had a Game Boy, uh, a Game Boy player. <clears throat> my, my Game Boy player might be dug up in a box somewhere at my grandma's house. But I, I don't know though. That's like a long shot, you know. 
playing four swords with four people on GB8s would be just like so cool. <laughs> Game Boy Player's cheap, expensive part is the disc. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, then that's probably the part that I probably I would not be able to find that then. Interesting. Yeah, besides emulation, that's probably, well, that's probably the only way to capture legit Game Boy footage, I would imagine. And then on top of that, you have to cap, you have to find a way to capture the GameCube footage, which isn't easy in this day and age because everything takes HDMI now in terms of capture cards. That'd be one hell of a setup. <laughs> Ooh, we might take that. Uh, I want to keep the mystery just for shits and giggles. I don't know. Could be funny. I wasn't paying attention. How much XP did we get for that? I mean, they're pretty easy to fight. The player itself is like 30 bucks. He bought a device that lets you play your GBA or GBC slash AMPC. Okay. Yeah, I have like HDMI to RCA converters. That. Oh, 4 XP, that's not bad. So that's probably what I would use. I think Jared has that. Actually, yeah, he still does have it, I think. I let Jared use that when he was streaming Final Fantasy, Cerberus, whatever the hell it was. <laughs> I think Quake Hammer damages these guys. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> cool. I don't know if Bomb is gonna damage him. Oh, it did. I think I would have to rebuy all my GBA games. I don't think I'd be able to find a single one. Soon enough, I'll get to collecting retro stuff, I think. That would be cool. I, I really want to start on N64 stuff, I think. Because I already have a decent collection for that stuff. Check on AliExpress. I feel like you were talking about that before, Rocket. What is that exactly? Rather suspicious building, wouldn't you say, old boy? Do be careful, eh? You can capture RCA footage easily. It's plugging it back into the TV. That's annoying. You don't want to play old games on a widescreen TV. Yeah, that always sucks. Who's that, dude? Whoa, that's Mario. So let's get him? Yeah, let's get him, dude. Sussy Amazon. Sussy version of Amazon with cheap shit. I mean, if something is a little sus online, then I tend to stay away from it. <laughs> I'll be honest. Yeah. 
or maybe that's Temu. Yeah, maybe you're thinking of Temu. I mean, I know what Temu is. They had so many commercials for the Super Bowl. Like, it was obnoxious how many Temu commercials there was. Put N64 games on the wedding registry, if only. <laughs> you know, there's a bunch of stuff we actually needed. Sadly. You know, who, who needs a blender or a vacuum? <laughs> Give me Star Fox 64. Yeah, I'm quite sure of it. Princess Peach uh, must be here as well. Our dear Boondoggle must be here too, wouldn't you say? How are we doing on health? Yeah, we should probably take that. Temu steals so much of your info, it's crazy. It doesn't surprise me. I mean, honestly, what doesn't, though, you know? I think just being online in general is probably not great <laughs> if you want privacy. They may say you get privacy, but I don't think you actually do, you know? If only you could, like, put a sock on the internet doorknob so that the internet didn't, like, bother you or steal your information, you know? Instead, the internet just, like, please search warrants your internet door and kicks it in. Elevator key, huh? Temusi is more than average, like putting you at risk amount. Yeah, I mean, I will never find myself using Temu, <laughs> so I guess I'll be safe, at least from that front. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, we definitely want that. We should probably drop... If I was smart, I would drop the mystery. But I guess we'll just use a super. I don't know. Kind of a waste, but... Oops. Looking at my items distracted me long enough to forget the pattern. And I forgot it again, so it doesn't even matter. Elevator key. I kind of want to bring out a different partner for a change. I love Goombella. What does she have to say, actually? This is a fortress corridor. An elevator connects it to the lower floors. I guess this fortress extends pretty far beneath the surface of the moon, huh? I mean, I hate Grotus, but I gotta give him some props for a pretty cool evil hideout. Wait, hang on a second. Are we aware of who Grotus is? Like Mario? <laughs> I'm trying to think if we ever have seen Grotus. Maybe we know the name probably, right? Like, I feel like when we fought the x knots they're probably like, oh, we got to get back to Sir Grotus. I don't know. I find it a little weird that Goombella knows. I'm sure someone has told us. You think you prefer the OG x Not Fortress theme? After this fight, I'll pay closer attention to the music. Holy shit, five star points for that? Jeez. I think Quake Hammer might be my favorite skill in the game. One of them. 
Oh, so the regular x knots don't drop star points. Yeah, I would say this is immediately better. Yeah, it, it's more subtle. Yeah, let's put it on. Good call, Jeff. Oh, we don't know the access code. Nugget. <laughs> what if, imagine if it was Nugget. Ooh, a star piece. How many star pieces do we have? Twelve. I forget if there's anything I wanted to go buy. I think we left that partner power back at that shop, which wouldn't be bad. Uh. <laughs> Grotus needs some Neogies. <laughs> Can we grab onto this? Oh, hang on. There's a note here. Gears under repair. Looks like it's missing a gear. Alright, we'll keep this in mind. I guess we go down to sub-level 2, right? So I discovered something about onions. Because I had Jimmy John's today. And my favorite sub from Jimmy John's comes with onions on it. And I like it a lot. But I noticed that every time I eat it, I get like... It's not an upset stomach. But it's like a bubble gut kind of feeling. That's the best way I can describe it. And I think it's the onions that do it because I very rarely, like I have a stomach of steel, like I can usually stomach things very well. But every time I get that sub from Jimmy John's, it kind of gives me a bubble gut. And I know onions tend to have that effect on people. And that's the only time I ever get onions because otherwise I tend to avoid onions. As long as they're like, I avoid raw onions, I guess. No, I wouldn't say I'm allergic. I just don't think onions sit well with me. I know a lot of people have that, but I tend to stay away from raw onions. Like I don't get it on my burgers or anything. I always get it without onions, but for some reason I like it on this particular sub from Jimmy John's. And every time I eat it, I don't know. I think it might be worth it, though, because it tastes so good. Flower finder. After being a foe, make more flowers appear. Yeah. Not really interested, but still cool. I would have loved for that to be another money money badge.
But I still, I also never figured out what was going on with the nut situation with me eating nuts. How I had a volatile reaction to eating nuts two times in a row. And then ever since I've like, I've avoided Bye. almonds and stuff, but there's a few times that I ate stuff with nuts in it and I've been fine. <laughs> so I don't know if I got a bad batch of nuts. See ya, Speedy. Have a good sleep, dude. Sleep tight. May the sleep paralysis demons not bite tonight. Super weird. I think I just got a bad batch of nuts. <laughs> It was real bad, though. I don't think anybody wants to hear about that. That's a level up. <sighs> what do we want to do here? I think we're honestly fine on BP. Like, there's nothing else I would really want to even equip. But then again, maybe we'll find another P-Up badge. I don't know. I feel like we're fine on all this stuff. I don't even really know what to get. Uh... I don't know, maybe I'll do one more BP in case we get something. I feel like you should go to an allergist to narrow down some allergies. Yeah, I got my blood tested after that whole escapade happened with the nuts. And I got no, like all the nuts came back as, no, you're not allergic to nuts. <laughs> so I narrowed that down. Today's code, 014-029. Left, right, middle. Zero, one, four, zero, two. So 1429 with zeros in between. What's going on with these mirrors? Hmm. Oh, this is where we changed with Princess Peach, where she turned invisible, I think. It's all coming back to me. Oh, this is Grotus's room. Yeah, he's not in here. Okay. Bad batch of nuts. I can't even imagine such a thing. I'm still a little scared to eat them. <laughs> Nut mites. <laughs> Nut crabs. Maybe there was just some crabs on my nuts. Security key. I love the carpet. So that was not an elevator key. So go left here. I don't think we went this way yet. And then we just have to put in the security code. What is happening? Are we teleporting? Oh, the gear is up there. Oh, I just saw it. Well. We're somewhere.
Where the heck are we? An actual door. Oh. We're underneath Rogue Port. The Exocs used that thing to come here from the moon. Wow, oh, okay. Yeah, they had to get here somehow, I guess, right? Oh. Is this the area underneath the left side of Rogueport? Yeah, it is. Yeah, we haven't been down here in a long time. Hang on, let's look around a second. Who the heck are you? Something you want to ask of an old wonky. <laughs> what does he tell us? The Pianta part. So he just tells you secrets about areas in the game? Weird. Cultivate information. So this is like the side of town that you probably don't want to find yourself in. <laughs> That's kind of the vibe I'm getting around here. Wow, you sell good items here. Try to remember that. I thought there's like a bombable wall. Yeah, right here. So this is that fortune teller, right? And the star pieces shop, which is kind of convenient. Just talking about that. Ah, welcome. Seeing with my amazing abilities that you seek is my humble job. So, shall I see something? No, we're good for now. Whatever happened to that other wizard that was getting us, like, double XP? I don't remember where she was. Rocket, I don't know what your phone is doing. <laughs> what is your phone doing? I don't know, Pretty Lucky sounds kind of nice, I guess. Enemy HP visible would be nice, but I don't think we need... Enemies kind of die in one turn now because Mario's just so strong. Don't really need it. This would be really nice. Either one of these would, to be honest. It takes four BP to equip it, though. Power plus partner. We have one. Is that equipped right now? I don't think so. Power plus for Mario. P up, D down is... We have two power pluses equipped for Mario. Oh my god. So yeah, it's not. So... We could equip it. Like, we could take off. We don't use hammer throw. We don't need close call. And I guess we could take off power smash. I'm going to keep Wake Hammer, I think. Yeah, screw it, dude. Let's do it. I think that's totally worth it. I don't think I'm going to buy it, though. Not yet. I might save up. Well, save up for what? <laughs> the most expensive thing here is partner power so it's either we buy something now or we save up for that and double up on it which maybe that's what I'll do I don't know flower saver would be nice we can't really equip it right now without getting rid of too many things let's just save up for now I don't really know I don't know where the other fortune teller girl was and I don't really feel like looking around forever for her. Can we grab that?
Oh, there's a bombable wall. I don't want to get too distracted with this right now. We were kind of busy with... Oh, hang on. This might be her, actually. Good thing I went down that pipe. I'm pretty sure this is it. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Cast a spell. Uh, special path. Absolutely. It was totally worth the money last time we did it. The game never notified me that it ran out. It kind of just stopped happening and I eventually noticed. But, so randomly that'll double our experience. And also give us random power-ups and stuff, but... The main reason I want it is for double XP. So, good thing I went over here. In terms of that chest, I mean, if it's quick, I'll grab it. And then I think there's a chest across the water to the right, too, if I remember. Defend plus partner. Not bad. Probably not something I'll equip, but it's there. Still kind of cool, I guess. Let me check over here quick. We need to bring back Kazoo Kid. That was such a good meme. Died off too quick. Whose house is this? I don't know. <laughs> There's no diary or anything anywhere. Than the good old Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter World Handler with her partners too. Rocket came up with a really good idea a few streams ago, and I totally want to do it. Mostly the hype up for Wilds, but start streaming Monster Hunter World again and make builds for every weapon, and then do a weapon roulette. That would be so much fun. I really want to do that. Every time I die or something or someone can redeem channel points to change weapons and then we roll a roulette and see what weapon we get. That'd be hella dope, bruh. I would just have to obviously get weapons on master rank. I'm not making a new game. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. We went the wrong way. I will use the character that's already in Master Rank. I just need to get a decent build for every weapon. Which would take some time. I have, obviously, Great Sword Set, Lance, Charge Blade, and Hammer. I think those are the weapons I have sets for. What was this way? Oh, okay, I know. We never finished Master Rank. I got the Safi Jiva. So I'm like, kind of just mostly done. And then, like I was playing Master Rank solo for a while. Like I did Raging Bracky and got Raging Bracky weapons and stuff. And then I fought Raging Rajang a bit. And then I was trying to find a party for Safi Diva because you can't do it solo or something, and I couldn't really find anyone.
you got the sappy to it. So yeah, we're probably right on par with each other then in terms of progression. And then Rocket can help us with Sappy. I mean, that's three people. Just to, like, get it done. That's one thing I hope they change with Wilds. Like, I get why they went the route they did with Sappy, Jiva, and Fatalis. Like, make it more... I don't want to say MMO focus because that's the wrong word, but kind of works. Like forcing you to partner up with randos essentially to clear a monster. I don't like that. I feel like you should be able to do everything solo. But I understand why they did it. It's kind of like, I don't you can think of it as like doing a raid, you know, in like anything like Destiny or World of Warcraft or whatever. Like you need a you need a party to do it. I don't care. I don't think that fits Monster Hunter. But with Wilds, what's nice, they just revealed it that you can get AI partners to call in and help you, which I'm all about that as long as they're good. <laughs> What's going on here? Why isn't it showing me the path? Can I use Bobbery? <laughs> Alright, well... Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> they should have it scale. You can still solo, but with more team members. Can you solo? <laughs> I don't think, dude, I don't think you can solo Fatalis in World, can you? Maybe you can if you have, like, perfect gear. There were one-shot moves that you could only survive if someone healed you. Yeah, see, I, I don't know. I don't like that. What? Let's bring out Coops. It's been a while since we've seen Coops. We have Shell Slam. We haven't seen it yet. Maybe we should use it just to see it. Oh, it pierces defense. That's really good, unlike the cleft enemies. Nice. That's really cool. You just hope multiplayer integration with story is better. Yeah, I feel like at this point it probably will be. It wasn't even bad in Rise. It wasn't perfect, but it was certainly better than World. I think they learned their lesson. Okay, guys, what was it? <laughs> zero, 014, zero, 029. Something like that. Yeah, World's multiplayer integration is indeed trash. But since they have crossplay, I feel like it's probably going to be better. To be honest, the crossplay makes me want to get it on PS5. But I don't know yet. You came here to get the elevator key so you can access the computer room? Yeah, I thought so. Well, then you're going to have to beat me to get it. And if you lose, your life is mine. Is this another game show? Totally. No, it's not. Oh my god, it's a boss. Oh no, it is! Yes! And here we go, folks. The main event, the 66th trivia quiz off. Yay! If you get five correct answers to the following questions, then you will win, win, win. But if you get just three wrong answers, you're toast. You don't want to be toast, folks. Well, what are we waiting for? Here we go. Exactly what's hidden here? A monkey. <laughs> monkey.
Rise works, but by no story cutscenes mid haunt. Yeah. Rise is a different dev team. That's true. Um, Capcom certainly oversees everything, though. You gotta remember that. While it's a similar setup to World, you're concerned. Yeah, a little bit. I'm not concerned, really. I th honestly think they learned. They got so much backlash for that, dude. For the multiplayer in World. They, they know that they messed up on that. That was an easy one. You don't you won't do so well in the next one. I guarantee that. Here we go, sucker. Question number two. What's the name of the girl in Pedalberg who's waiting patiently for coops? Oh, that's Koopy Koo. That's the easiest question in the world. Yeah. How could I forget Koopy Koo? Goomba, Lava Bubble, Buzzy Beetle, and Boo. How many feet do they have total? Six, right? <laughs> yeah, six. Defeat? <laughs> I'm concerned he's asking me about feet. Koops is right there being like, who is that again? <laughs> you know, your your girlfriend? I'll take her off your cans, Koops. You know, I'm that's fine with me. It's elementary for non-idiots. Where was the one, the only diamond star? Oh. I don't know. Glitzville was yellow. Oh. <laughs> uh, Poshley was orange. I want to say it was Hooktail. Right? I don't know, guys. <laughs> Do you guys know? Glitzville was yellow. Poshley was orange. Those I know for sure. I don't know. I think I might. It's a 50-50 shot here. Was Hooktail red? The boondoggle was red, I think. So, Cortez? Or maybe Cortez was red. I don't know. I kind of want to go with Hooktail here. I have a feeling in my gut. I think Hooktail. We're about to find out. There we go. Always go with your gut, even if you have bubble gut from onions. Extra hard one. What was the name of the very first champion? Prince Mush. Prince Marsh. <laughs> Prince Matthew. Prince Macho. No, correct. That's five correct answers, crud. I'm so mad right now, I can hardly see straight. I lose. Fine, but I really hate you. Take this, you bum. Heck yeah. Prince Matthew sounds like a pretty cool guy. <laughs> Somewhere in history, there had to have been a Prince Matthew before. Oh, hang on. Before I forget, we gotta go get that gear. 